magnets are one of those things that always remain wondrous. As a kid, I used to chase a broken magnet with its repelling end and pretend it was a cop car chasing a robber. Now, it's similarly satisfying to slap magnetic accessories to the back of my iPhone. It just clicks into place. No wires, screws, or clamps to deal with. It's wonderful. MagSafe is the name of Apple's accessory system integrated into the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 range. A ring of magnets on the back of the phone and in MagSafe-enabled cases lets you attach various magnetic accessories, like a battery pack that recharges the iPhone wirelessly so you don't need to hold it or carry a cable. We've collected a great many cases in our Best iPhone 13 Cases and Best iPhone 12 Cases guides, but we've highlighted our favorite MagSafe accessories here. But before going on forward, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel New to Calpha for more videos like this. Without wasting any more time, let's get into it. On number one, we have MagSafe cases. If you're anti-case, you can skip this pick. If you prefer protection smart, well then you shouldn't buy just any case for the iPhone 12 or iPhone 13. A standard case will just weaken the magnetic attachment between the iPhone and the MagSafe accessory. Grab a MagSafe case instead, the official ones from Apple are some of our favorites. You can choose between silicone or leather, and they come in a variety of colors. The buttons remain clicky, the cutouts for the ports are accurate, and the entire bottom edge of the phone is protected too. Oh, and the ring of magnets in this case will keep your MagSafe accessory attached pretty well. On number two, we have magnetic wireless battery chargers. You don't want your phone to go dead on the mount and so it's always good to pack a battery pack. MyCharge calls its new line of magnetic power banks Superhero Maglock, implying that they are real saviors. I was impressed by their design. Not only do the batteries, which come in various capacities, have strong magnets and stick really well to the back of your iPhone 12 or 13, but they have raised coils, which are supposed to help with reducing heat levels while charging. It does seem to work. The 3000 mAh battery is lightweight and slim, and is nice to have around for some emergency charging. However, it won't get you a full charge, so you'll probably want to step up to one of the higher capacity options like the 6000 mAh model, which retails for $60 but is currently being discounted to $40. The 9000 mAh version is beefy and feels like your phone is attached to a small brick the battery and phone do fit in your hand nicely but the combo certainly isn't pocket-friendly. All the Maglock batteries charge Kai-enabled iPhones at 5 watts, although you can get faster charging if you go wired and use a USB-C to lightning cable. I also liked how there's a chime when the charging starts and your phone tells you how much juice is left in the battery packets tied into iOS 15. You can wirelessly charge Android devices as well, but the Maglock won't stick unless you have a metal ring on the back of your phone's case stick-on rings are available. The Superhero Maglock is available in a few colors and has a glossy finish. It's currently the best designed magnetic power bank better even than Apple's. On number 3 we have Belkin Magnetic Phone Mount with Face Tracking. Belkin's magnetic phone mount with face tracking is designed for folks who shoot their own selfie videos for TikTok, Instagram, and other social media platforms with a MagSafe-enabled iPhone. The device has a companion iOS app, but not an Android app. There are competing products out there like the Pivo Pod Lite $80, but this is MagSafe enabled, so all you have to do is stick your phone on the mount you can simply turn your phone to place it in landscape or portrait mode. The pedestal automatically turns as your phone follows your face while you're shooting yourself. To be clear, this is not for fast or WhatsApp or wet chat video calls. It doesn't have to be plugged, so it's easy to move around the room and place wherever you want. However, it's not equipped with rechargeable batteries. It's powered by three of batteries that do give the pedestal some added weight for stability. On number four, we have Anchor Mago Charging Accessories. I couldn't pick between these three Mago Charging Docks from Anchor, they're all seriously great. The Anchor 637 Desktop Charging Station is the most useful day today. The front of the orb is where you can stick your iPhone and wirelessly charge it, but on the back are two USB C ports, two USB A and three AC outlets. It makes managing all those pesky cables under the desk so much easier. Then there's the Anchor 623 Magnetic Wireless Charger. This dock looks a bit like a flask, but the top lid has a hinge, allowing it to be angled out. That's where you place your iPhone to recharge it wirelessly, and you can adjust the angle so it sits upright. In this position, 
you can plop your AirPods behind the iPhone to recharge them wirelessly at the same time. The whole thing is compact enough to shove in a bag for your travels. Just know that the iPhone screen will wobble quite a bit when you use it. Arguably the most ingenious of the lot is the Anchor 633, which is essentially a magnetic wireless charging stand that suspends the iPhone in mid-air. You can adjust the viewing angle, but the attachment point doubles as a 5000 mAh battery. Just slide it out and take it with you, and you can attach it to your iPhone whenever it's low on juice. No need to remember to recharge the battery pack slide it back into the dock and it'll take care of that for you. Better yet, the base can also recharge the AirPods Pro wirelessly. Truly ingenious. On number 5 we have a bike mount. With my old bike mount, I had to wrangle rubber straps around my phone to secure it to my handlebars. It took a few minutes. With Peak Design's universal bike mount, the whole process takes a second and it's more secure than many other MagSafe mounts because it locks the iPhone in place. You'll need to push a button down to unlock it and remove the iPhone, but you can do it with one hand. After many miles on roads of varying degrees of quality, my iPhone has yet to fall off. The only quirk, you have to use Speak Design's everyday case for it to work with the mount. You can attach other MagSafe accessories to the back of the case just fine, and it still supports wireless charging. Peak Design sells a variety of other MagSafe gear that works with its own system, from wireless chargers to a tripod mount. On number 6 we have Exter MagSafe card holder. Smart wallet manufacturer Exter has also taken a step at a MagSafe compatible card holder for the iPhone. Utilizing its expertise in wallet design offers something more premium than Apple's official option. For one, Exter's MagSafe card holder is impressively thin, although that will admittedly change once you start adding cards. There are two credit card shaped slots, but Exter claims you can carry up to three cards at once, two more than Apple's option we gave it a go, and while it is a particularly snug fit, it is possible. There's also a thumb slot on the rear, accessible once you slide the card holder off the back of your iPhone, allowing for quick access to your cards with a push. It's a solid option if you've got more than one card you use on a daily basis, and it's relatively cheap too. And that's about it for this video. We covered the best MagSafe accessories for your iPhone. Hope you liked it, and if did make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so that we can make more of these videos. And if you want to be notified of our future updates, make sure to turn on the notifications from down below. Thanks a ton for watching and we will see you around.